This school year in Iowa, superintendents and school leaders won't be able to enforce mask mandates for students or staff. It makes it tough in any situation to have kind of key tools uh, taken away from you. Matt Wyant with Pottawatomie County Public Health says this year will be an adjustment without the option of a mask mandate. But if we do have outbreak situations like what we're seeing in other confined uh, close quarters spaces, then it would have been nice to be able to implement something like that to help keep school in session and um, keep all the kids healthy and safe. Our Dr. Eric Kanos, the superintendent for Lewis Central Community Schools, lists out the measures the district is taking. We will highly recommend uh, the utilization of masks, especially for those who are not vaccinated. Uh, we'll continue to try efforts of social distancing. Atlantic Schools Superintendent Stephen Barber says his district is taking a different approach. We will not social distance at, at this particular time. Um, we will have rapid testing for our staff. Um, they're still quarantined based upon um, the guidelines that, that the CDC have out for, for quarantine if you are positive. Barber says Atlantic schools will maintain a strong cleaning regimen. We uh, fog our classrooms two times a week and we also disinfect multiple times a day. So we're going to continue to do those types of things as we move forward. Wyant is bracing himself for a lot of uncertainty, especially when administrators don't have access to all the tools for a safe environment. We could be looking at children who aren't able to see their grandparents for a little while uh, because the, you know, the fear might be come boiling back up on the transmission of this virus. And we are seeing breakthrough cases. But Wyant is placing trust in people like Knost, who is staying optimistic. The good news regarding last year is we really thought we'd all open up school and it would be a matter of a couple of weeks and things would spread so fast. And they didn't. And that's good news. Reporting in Western Iowa, Isabella Basco, 3 News Now.